Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos. Today I'm going to show you the brand new CLP725B coming out of the box. This is a brand new model. Let's show you what's in the box. You only need a pair of scissors and a Phillips screwdriver to set these up. Yamaha pack everything really, really well. Uh, you'll see it's all covered in its own covers. This is the backboard for the piano. Plenty of edging to keep it safe. And these are all the little screws that we'll need and the headphone hook. I normally open the lid before I lift it out of the box just so it doesn't um, push around when you're trying to lift it. This is the main upper section. Yeah, a book of 50 songs. Now all these songs are built into the piano and you can play along with them. So that's the uh, book of 50 classics. This is your handbook. And a quick guide on there, a little chart. Okay. And we've got your, your foot forward with your pedals on. We'll look at that in a minute. easier size. We've got the legs going onto them. And here's one. I'll get rid of the mess and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so this is what we're down to. We've got a pile of screws, which include the, the four to hold the base to the sides. We've got the six to go up into the piano underneath it. We've got the ones for the back, and um, there's some side ones that are self-tapping, and then we've got the two small ones to just hold the backboard at the top. And then we've got the four caps to cover these silver ones up, so when they're on show, you don't see some bright silver screws. We've got a headphone um, hook that we can use to hang headphones from under the instrument. They don't come with it but the headphone hook is included which is quite nice. Your mains power supply and the uh, figure of eight cable here which um, you can see it's got a figure of eight on it. That goes into the power supply, 16 volt power supply and that goes into the instrument. Now we get our books and we get the backboard and then we get the, the pedals on a board and then the two side pieces and the main instrument. Okay, let's get this on the stand and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so we've got all our parts together now. Let's um, get the sides first of all. Now the sides, pretty obvious. You've got a, a 
silver bit at the bottom and your legs come out at the front. So we know that's the front of the instrument. Let's get these two, just lay them on their backs. And then get the pedal board, which is going to go in between. And the pedal board rests on the silver. So if we get one, first of all, find up here. Screws, the silver screws go down into the front here. Then the same on the other side. Just lays on top. Oh, there's one thing to remember, just inside here is your cable. Well, this is your cable that goes from the pedal unit up to the instrument. So we need to make sure that's taken out. Uh, so we haven't got to worry about it when it's all assembled. Just out there. Okay, so again, my finger tight these screws in. Don't worry about them being silver. There's little caps that go over them at the end when they're tightened up, and that just makes it look much nicer. Okay, so we've got our main part. Then we've got the base of the backboard to go on top and it's just fits you've got screws in on the bottom and then we've got just two little poppets pop screws okay it's the same on both sides just lay that here these pop screws okay so the top screws just go in on each side Finally, we've got the uh, screws on the bottom to do. These are the seven tappers. We just need to do that very carefully. Done. Now, what I would recommend for the last part is to lay it down on its front. That means now that we can put the, the pop section on without having to lift it all at the same time. So, for here, we can bring this section over. We can lay it down in the right place. Okay, and then the last six screws, so the black ones, they just line up these three holes. Just get that to there. And the same on the other side. And then we can put our three screws. So we've got the screws in pretty well as far as they need to be just to get it to set up. And then we can tighten them all ourselves. Let's just lift the piano up right. Then we can just tighten them up with a screwdriver to make sure they're not going to be unsafe. And now it will line up a bit better on its legs as well. to connect them up in the back of the instrument so we get the cable out this is the cable here and this can be now fed up to the top where we've got um, a connection for the pedals and that's just in here they're very delicate little pins here so you need to make sure that they line up properly there's a, uh, there's a little bit in the center a little bit of plastic I just notice that bit of plastic is on the uh, the far side, so we can just push that up 
and actually faces directly outwards. And then to tidy this up, you've actually got a, um, a little bit of wire in here we can just bend round and that keeps it nice and tidy in the um, background. Lifts up here, taking these off the uh, music rest. There we go. Okay, so finally, we're going to tighten up these front silver screws. Let's put in first, now it's all on its base. And then we've got these nice little caps to cover up the silver, and then just nicely pop over to make it look much prettier. Finally, we've got the headphone hanger. It's quite a clever little device. It just means you can keep your headphones tidily underneath when you're not using them, and they're available just to pop out when you want to. So it comes with two little screws. Okay, and the headphone hanger just slots in under here. See if I've got some headphones around just to show you what they look like. Yeah, here we go. So when you're playing your headphones and not using them, just hang them down the front here. Okay, and finally we've got to plug it in. So we've got the power cable. The power cable is the, um, the figure of eight. It goes into here. And from the back, there you go. And from the back, it just plugs in and this goes in for your power. And to take the plastic off. There you go. Okay, so here you have it. This is the CLP725. But most of the CLP series and the YDP series do set up in the same way as this. They're very easy, very convenient to set up yourself. Uh, it's a one man job if you want it to be. Um, the 725 is available in uh, the black walnut that we have here. It's also available in rosewood, white, or polished ebony. The polished ebony is a premium finish, very high luster, so you pay a premium price. It's got an extra for the finish because so many coats of lacquer to make it so shiny and, and lusted. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Check out our website epianos.co.uk for more information about the Clavanova and the YDP series that are available. And if you want to sign up for our newsletter, get regular updates and deals coming through on your email. Thanks for watching. I'm David Cooper at ePianos.